Well, at the request of Jack Ruby, the President's Commission on the Assassination of President Kennedy has today conducted uh, a polygraphic examination. The results, of course, are going to be taken to Washington, and there will be no disclosure of any sort until the Commission has analyzed the uh, examination and come to its own conclusions. And that's all that is statable for the press and public at this time about this matter. Why did it take so long? It took uh, as long as it did because it was a very comprehensive uh, examination, and such an examination to be done in a comprehensive fashion on a matter of this sort required that much time. How did you feel about this, Mr. Fowler? Were you in favor of this polygraph test? Gentlemen, I was not in favor of the polygraph test. I so advised uh, the commission. I advised Mr. Ruby. But as you probably know, Mr. Ruby had made this connection with Chief Justice Earl Warren prior to my entering into the case. And as I understand, Mr. Warren, in keeping with the promise that he made to Jack Ruby, to give him a polygraph test, it was carried out by these gentlemen here today. Do you feel that this will be hurtful to your appeal? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, anything that uh, might lend some credence to uh, show that uh, uh, certainly would not help our cause. I do not feel that anything that went on here today would be detrimental to Jack Ruby's cause. That is from Well, I will not go into his responses. Again, this I'm not, uh, I'm not prepared to say. What was the main reason you were here? The background of this, uh, as you probably know, we have contended in the past, we will contend in the future, that Mr. Ruby is of unsound mind and is incapable at this time of carrying on and conducting his own affairs. And for this reason, we felt and so advised Mr. Ruby uh, that uh, he should not do this. Uh, but he absolutely insisted on it. This was his act and his act alone. I, had, I could have no control whatsoever over Mr. Ruby. 